Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got a bunch of triangles fully confined uh, in a square, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, 36 uh, centimeter square, whereas the area of this uh, right hand side uh, triangle is uh, 81 uh, centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, red shaded uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me go over some basic uh, concepts before we solve this given uh, problem. And here's our very first uh, example. Let's focus on this uh, rectangle. And let's assume that the area of this uh, rectangle uh, is uh, 80 centimeter square. And here's our uh, diagonal for this uh, rectangle. Then this uh, diagonal is going to divide uh, the area of this uh, rectangle uh, into two equal uh, parts. And if the area of this uh, whole uh, rectangle is uh, 80 centimeter square, then the area of this uh, triangle, this side, is going to be 40 centimeters square and this uh, area is going to be 40 centimeters square as well. In other words, uh, these areas are going to be exactly same. And if we put the diagonal uh, the other way around, then still the area is going to be 40 centimeter square each. And here's our next example. We got these uh, four uh, triangles uh, fully confined uh, in a square with this uh, point P being their common point and with the base of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, same as the whole uh, side length of the square. Likewise, uh, the base for this uh, triangle is uh, the side uh, length of the square as well. And for this uh, triangle, the base uh, is the side length uh, of the square. And finally, for this uh, triangle, the base is uh, is the side length of the square as well. And now let's assume the area of this uh, triangle is uh, A. The area of this uh, triangle is uh, lowercase b. Likewise, the area of this uh, triangle is uh, C. And the area of this uh, triangle is uh, D. Then we can write uh, this uh, as uh, A plus uh, B equal to C plus uh, D. In other words, the sum of these uh, two areas is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these uh, two other areas. Do you want a proof to this uh, concept? Let me go ahead and show you a proof. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and draw vertical and uh, horizontal lines that pass through this uh, common point uh, P. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have drawn these perpendicular as well as uh, the horizontal uh, lines that pass uh, through this uh, common point P. And as a result, we got uh, these uh, four rectangles. This is the first one, this is the second one, this is the third one, and this is the fourth one. And moreover, we can see that this uh, triangle has been divided into two parts, this part uh, and uh, this part. Let me go ahead and label uh, this part of the triangle as A sub 1 and this part as uh, a sub 2. And likewise, uh, let's uh, label uh, this triangle. I'm going to call uh, this uh, part as uh, B sub 1 and this is uh, B sub 2. And this uh, triangle, I'm going to label this side uh, C of 1 and this is uh, C of 2. And finally, for this uh, bottom uh, triangle, I'm going to label uh, this side uh, as uh, D sub 1 and this is uh, D sub 2. And furthermore, in this uh, green uh, rectangle, this uh, area is going to be equal to this uh, area. Likewise, uh, this area is going to be equal to this area in this uh, rectangle. And same is uh, true for these uh, two other rectangles. And now let's focus on this uh, left uh, hand side. Our A is going to be equal to A sub 1 plus uh, A sub 2 area. Let me go ahead and write down A sub 1 plus uh, a sub 2 plus uh, for this uh, B triangle area is going to be the sum of uh, B sub 1 uh, plus B sub 2. So let me go and write down B sub 1 plus uh, B sub uh, 2. And now we can see that this A sub 1 is same as uh, C sub 1. So therefore I'm going to replace this A sub 1 by C sub 1. And for this uh, A sub 2 I'm going to replace the, this A sub 2 by D sub 1 
over here and now for this uh, b sub 1 uh, i am going to replace it uh, with uh, d sub 2 so i'm going to write down d sub 2 over here and finally for this uh, b sub 2 i'm going to replace uh, this one by c of 2 over here and now let's go ahead and rearrange that i'm going to put down uh, c1 plus c2 and then uh, d1 plus uh, d sub 2 as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation we can see c sub 1 plus c sub 2 is same as uh, this whole area c and plus uh, for this uh, d sub 1 plus d sub 2 is going to be the area whole area d so therefore this whole thing uh, turns out to be c plus uh, d which is our this uh, right hand uh, side and that's our uh, proof and now let's go ahead and solve our this given uh, problem and here's our next step let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, red shaded triangle area as uh, x uh, centimeter square and the area of this uh, shaded uh, triangle uh, as a uh, lowercase a and now let's focus on the area of this uh, half of the square and this is equal to a plus uh, 81 so therefore we can write that the half uh, square area equals to a plus uh, 81 and here's our next step we can see that this uh, point p is the common point uh, for all uh, these uh, shaded uh, triangles this blue one this uh, green shaded uh, and this uh, yellow shaded and this uh, blue one as well and now we can see that the sum of the areas of these uh, two opposite triangles this one and uh, this uh, triangle areas is going to be once again half square area so therefore the half of the, this uh, square area is going to be equal to let me go ahead and write down this uh, 36 let me write down 36 uh, plus uh, this uh, x area and then uh, plus finally this uh, a area as well and now we can go ahead and equate the right uh, hand side so therefore we can write uh, 36 uh, plus x uh, plus a equals to a plus uh, 81 and we can see that a and a is uh, gone so therefore we ended up with the 36 plus x equals to 81 let's go ahead and subtract 36 from both sides this is gone so therefore our x area value turns out to be 45 uh, centimeter square so that's the area of this uh, red triangle turns out to be 45 uh, centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye